good Tuesday morning. We missed a day yesterday. I want to jump on here this morning real quick and apologize for missing a day yesterday. Um, I'm having some trouble with my left leg. It's uh, <laughs> knees locked up on me. I can't get it to straighten out completely. I had a doc visit yesterday morning. They're getting me a, trying to get me in a referral in to go see an orthopedic. So get this thing straightened out, get back to it normal walking and get rid of this pain in the pain in the leg so to speak as quickly as possible but um uh, i did want to get on here this morning i'm just going to be here for a second or two i want to share some scripture scripture with you i wanted to let you know i am okay i'm just uh having a hard time walking a little bit today and yesterday and the day before well since wednesday night been locked up that long but it's uh i'm gonna hopefully get it looked at and took care of here real soon hopefully hopefully that's the the key word there the good lord's will his timing his timing until then i'll just endeavor to persevere and keep a pushing forward for jesus but i wanted to share with you this morning from colossians chapter number three verses 13 and 14 if you want to turn there in your bibles real quick these were in my devotions this morning and I wanted to share it with you because it's uh, something we need to something we need to think about something we need to think about let's just go ahead and do 12 through 14 12 through 14 Colossians 3 12 through 14 some good word this morning to get us started I'm probably not going to do a song just because uh I need to get this leg propped back up here. Just get some uh, relief on it as much as I can. But we're going to look at Colossians chapter number 3, starting at verse number 12. Colossians chapter number 3, verse number 12. The Bible says, Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness, of mind, meekness, and long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man hath have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, put on charity with the bond of perfectness. And again, we come to that word charity. That word charity, this is a King James is way the 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 translators for the King James, this is their way of saying agape, which in the Greek is the love that God had for us, the love of Jesus. Agape, put on charity. That charity. That love, that mercy, that grace, that uh, that love that's not expecting anything in return. That's the only way we can learn to forgive is to have that love, that much love in our heart. And it is important that no matter how hard somebody is trying to tear you down, no matter how hard somebody is uh, fighting against you, no matter how deep they want to drag your name through the mud, we got to remember that we are, we are the elect of God. We are holy and beloved, and we need to have those those. Our inner, our insides, that bowels of mercy, that's our insides. That's the deepest, from the deepest part of our beings, the deepest part of our soul. We need to have mercy. We need to be long suffering. That means patient. Be patient and kind. And always, that forbearing, that means lifting each other up. That means to, to set, a, set an example. To be 
loving and kind towards them, accepting no matter who they are, no matter what they've done, no matter where they've been, loving them and accepting them. You don't have to accept their sin. You don't have to put up with their sin. You don't have to tolerate their sin. We're not to tolerate their sin. We're to tell them what their, you know, we're to tell them what sin is. We're not to judge them. We're not to condemn them. We're to love them. Love them and forgive them. And show them that that mercy and that grace that we're showing can only be found through Christ Jesus. And I know it's hard sometimes. It's uh, it's hard. It's hard sometimes to, to be forbearing. It's hard sometimes to be forgiven. But you know, how are we going to be forgiven if we can't forgive? So let's take the time and go out of our way if we have to, to be forgiven. Because I'm. Mean, Not forgiving somebody. That, the only person that's hurting is you. These people, they a lot of times they don't even care if you forgive them or not. They don't. They don't expect you to. They don't want you to. They want you to hold that grudge. They want to keep the drama stirred up. They want to fight. And when you forgive, and you have mercy, well, they just can't do it no more. And they come to you and they start saying this and that, and you say, "Well, look, I already forgave you for that. That's forgotten." And when we forgive, we're to forgive the same way that Jesus forgives. And, you know, he when he forgives somebody, he cast it off into the sea of forgetfulness as far as the east is from the west. And we talked about that. You can only travel so far north until you start traveling south again. But you can't, you can't stop going east because you run into the west and you can't stop going west because you run into the east and the way our planet's designed the way the Lord made it (laughs) you will eventually get to the eastern part of the world if you keep traveling in that eastern direction but uh, that's the way the Lord does things He'll use the most simplest thing to confuse the most whiz, the most earthly wise mind. I'm, I'm just, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, uh, the earth in my head right now, and I'm, I'm trying to, trying not to chuckle too much, because it's just amazing how God's designed this earth. And how he made the four corners. And how he made it to where the east could never meet the west. No matter what. (laughs) No matter how you look at it. The east could never meet the west. Oh, glory. I hope this will help somebody today. Maybe there's somebody out there that's brought you down or given you a hard time. Somebody that's uh, talking bad about you. Somebody that's trying to hurt you. Instead of being angry at them, instead of holding a grudge against them, forgive them and pray for them. I tell you, the, the best thing you can do is to pray God will convict them. And there's no sin against praying that they can't sleep until they find peace with Jesus. As a matter of fact, we're encouraged to pray those kinds of prayers that that convicting power of the Holy Ghost would fall on them to the point that they can't rest until they find Jesus. I think that there needs to be more of those prayers said. That if you really love somebody enough, you'll want them to go to heaven and you'll pray. You'll pray for them to see Jesus. That they, their deceived eyes would be have the scales knocked off of them. That their plugged ears would be unstopped. And that they would hear the word. And that they would see the love of Jesus. And come to know him. 
not for us, but to glorify the Father and to build up the kingdom of heaven and to do the thing that God told Jesus to tell us to do, go out and make more disciples. So as you go about your day today, maybe today, maybe this is a warning for somebody that uh, something's getting ready to come up on you, that somebody's going to come up against you and instead of being mad at them, instead of holding a grudge against them, just look, look them right in the eye while they're in the process of putting you down and say, you know, I forgive you and I love you. But more importantly, Jesus loves you and is willing to forgive you. And he's not just going to forgive you for what you're doing to me, but he's going to forgive you for everything if you'll just come to know him. Even when somebody's trying to argue, we have the opportunity to introduce them to Jesus Christ. That's really the best time to show them the love of Jesus when they're trying to put you down, when they're trying to insult you, when they're trying to hurt you. Because they done that to our Lord and Savior. They hated him so much that they would ridicule him. They would try to catch him in confusing questions. But the master, oh, Rabbi, <laughs> Jesus, his wisdom was far greater than anyone who ever walked this earth. He, he, was, he was more wise than Solomon <laughs> because that's where Solomon's wisdom came from. And the most wise thing he ever did was just to love people. He never stopped loving them. He loved those Pharisees that loved to put him down. He loved them. He loved them so much that he spread his arms out on a cross and died for them and was even in the process of the crucifixion, he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And that says forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Jesus, on the cross, forgiven the very ones that were crucified, that were nailing him to the cross, that were fulfilling the scriptures. He loved them. Now, we need to go out and love the world that way. We need to go out there and show these people the true love of Jesus. We've been showing them the mercy of Jesus. We've been showing them the brotherly love of Jesus, coming together and helping each other now. Now, let's keep continue on. Let's not think back to the things that have happened in the past. Let's just move and build on, on what we're on the ground we're on right now. We're on a new solid ground right now. The old has been washed away. The flood has come in and washed the old away. Let's build this anew on the Word of God, forgiving one another, forbearing one another, loving one another, loving one another the way Jesus loved. Let's do that from now on. Not just because we're in a crisis situation here and have been for a few weeks and are still trying to start moving forward now. We've got a foundation to build on. We've got a clean, solid foundation to build on. And that's the, the Holy Bible. That's the Word of God. That's the love of Jesus Let's build on it. Let's not tear each other down. Let's want, lo love one another and lift each other up. No matter what. I love you guys. Continue to pray for me. I'm going to do my best to be at the sub shop Thursday. I'm not going to let this stop me by no means, but I am trying to take it easy between now and then so I can be at the sub shop Thursday and Friday. Thursday for back for lunchtime fellowship and Friday evening for Bible study. Don't want to miss that. I love those times that we get to fellowship and spend time together. It's been a little different this morning. No song, but I've got, uh, like I said, I've got to get off here and prop this old left hind leg up and let it try to mend up a little bit. Be praying for me. I'm going to be praying for each and every one of you. Let's lift each other up daily. And let's pray for our brothers and sisters that we haven't met yet. 
that we know are out there carrying on the work that we're carrying on here wherever they are in the world because there's Christians all around this place from the east to the west north to south there's Christians everywhere that are doing the work of Jesus that are out there trying to make disciples let's pray for them pray a hedge of protection around them and let me tell you praying for a person to have a hedge of protection around them works it works wonders. It'll work wonders. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it work this week. Already. Two days into the week and I've already seen it work. Praying a hedge of protection around somebody always works. I love you. God bless you. Let's have a great day and the rest of this week be blessed. Just shine bright for Jesus. I love you. Have a great day.